In August 2019 Iran unveiled Beaver 373. The long-range air defense system is capable of detecting up to 100 targets, tracking 60 of them, and engage with six concurrently. A distinguishing feature of Beaver 373 is its vertical launching system with square launchers, mostly used for air defense on warships. And this year, Iran intends to export its long-range surface-to-air defense missile system, citing sources in Tehran and a distribution catalog for export from the Iranian Ministry of Defense. This is the AD-200 missile system, which according to the Army recognition may be the export version of the Iranian Beaver 373 anti-aircraft missile system. According to information published in the Iranian export catalog, the AD-200 is designed to intercept and hit targets distance and at great heights. The air targets that the AD-200 covers are aircraft, helicopters, and drones, Tehran said. The air defense system is able to be used in all weather conditions and can engage simultaneously six targets with 12 missiles. The AD-200 missile can destroy a wide range of aerial targets as aircraft, helicopters, UAVs, and cruise missiles. A battery of AD-200 includes up to six transporter erector launcher each with a launcher unit with four ready-to-fire missiles, AD-200CC combat control post, AD-200SR search radar, and AD-200TR target tracking radar. Citing the technical features published on the Iranian weapons export catalog, the missile can destroy aerial targets with a range from 5 to 200 kilometers and an altitude from 100 meters to 27 kilometers. The missile has a diameter of 515 millimeters, a total weight of 2,050 kilograms with a warhead of 180 kilograms. The missile has an inertial guidance system updated via data link semi-active and active radar homing. The AD-200SR search and surveillance phased array radar is able to acquire and detect targets at a maximum range of 320 km with an azimuth of 360 degrees and elevation from minus 3 degrees to plus 85 degrees. It can detect 200 targets simultaneously. The AD-200TR target tracking phased array radar is able to track targets at a maximum range of 260 km with an azimuth of 360 degrees it can track six targets simultaneously. Iranian security expert Hossein Delirian who sympathizes with Iran's Revolutionary Guard, thinks Armenia could be a potential buyer. In a recent article for the Iranian daily newspaper Jami Jam, he says that Armenia might be interested in acquiring Iranian air defense systems. According to the Lyrian Iran is the only country in the Islamic world that builds modern missile defense systems, guided rockets and drones. Public Radio of Armenia echoed Hossein Delirian's thinking on its website. The broadcaster writes, Armenia and the Republic of Artsakh can now legally buy Iran's corded three-air defense system for protection against Israeli-made and Turkish-made drones used by Azerbaijan. Iran is said to possess the largest missile arsenal in the Middle East. Iran has a vast arsenal, ranging from artillery units to short-range missiles and medium-range cruise missiles. In addition, Iran has a large arsenal of drones which it can effectively deploy, Moro Mantovani of the Military Academy at ETH Zurich told DW. Iran has, for instance, been mass-producing short-range missiles, like the Qayyum-1, since 2011. It is capable of delivering a 750-kilogram payload and strike targets some 700 kilometers away.
The Islamic Republic of Iran has continued to unveil new missile systems, even when the international community was still considering extending the arms embargo against the country this August. At the time, Iranian Defense Minister Amir Hatami presented an all-new surface-to-surface missile and a cruise missile with a range of more than 1,000 kilometers on Iranian television. Many countries want to buy our weapons, Hatami asserted in a television interview just after the arms embargo was lifted, we will definitely export more than we will import, our weapons are affordable and efficient. There is certainly no consensus on that. There are not many countries that will want to import Iranian weapons, as German Middle East expert Udo Steinbach told DW. Venezuela may be interested. Despite U.S. sanctions, the country is still importing Iranian oil and has expressed interest in Iranian missiles. Steinbach says Iran is very proud of its arms industry but doubts the country will become a major exporter. Aside from a few fringe countries, few nations will be seriously interested in equipping their armed forces with Iranian weapons. Iran's displays of advancements in arms development and production are not only a strategic exercise to attract new buyers but also reveals the possibility of the country being a bedrock of arms imports to fill gaps in its capabilities Matthew George Ph.D., aerospace and defense analyst at Global Data, a leading data and analytics company, said in an email to the national interest. Iran has developed its military capabilities domestically over the past decade or so to circumvent the arms embargo, leading to the occasional demonstration and announcement of new aircraft, unmanned aerial vehicles UAVs, and developments in armaments. Iran is going down a road other isolated nations have been forced to travel developing a local way to produce weapons. This is because Western sanctions and arms embargoes that have been directed against Iran have only served to create a vacuum that the country's nascent has struggled to fill. Iran has what can be described as an enthusiastic, if not quite cutting-edge military-industrial complex. Now it is beginning to take the first step toward being an arms supplier or something that could be a concern to the stability in the Middle East and beyond. While these developments are a cause of concern for many countries in the region, an additional supplier of arms into the global market will be welcomed by many countries interested in these technologies, but without the deep pockets and rigorous prerequisites required to purchase from traditional suppliers, explained George. However, those embargoes and sanctions can go both ways. So not only can Iran not purchase small arms, but it could be very difficult for the Middle Eastern nation to actively try to sell its wares on the open market at least not without any potential buyers facing their own sanctions from the UN or United States. Iran will work to ensure that nothing domestic will hamper the lifting of the arms embargo added George. Arms could be a future revenue stream for the country and potentially an important one as its oil reserves certainly won't last forever.